everyone, it's Gabby, aka Gabby Do Art, and welcome to my first Draw With Me video. Today I'll be showing you the process of this Beanie Babies piece. It is made with graphite, watercolor, gouache, and Prismacolor color pencils. I was really inspired by the colors of these dolls, and when I saw them in my uncle's shop, I just had to have them. I just thought they were so cute, and I thought they would be so fun to draw, and they really were. Once I'm finished with my sketch, I erase the majority of the pencil marks because under the watercolor they stand out even more. Here you can see me going in with the Master's Touch watercolor set. They are not the best, but they were pretty cheap and they get the job done, so I think it was worth it and they're great for traveling. These paints can come out uh, patchy at times, but if you have ever seen any of my other art, you know that I kind of lean into that. I love being able to see what medium you're using in the actual art piece. That is why I love going over watercolor with colored pencil. You get the good base with the watercolor and then you get a lot of that awesome texture with the colored pencil on top. This whole piece was very much trusting the process. It did not look like it was coming along the entire time I was doing it, but that's how it usually is. I just have to trust myself and keep going and it usually turns out great. What I didn't show is putting masking fluid on before I did the watercolors. I hid this because you couldn't really tell what was going on, but I will explain it now. You can see the shiny spots in the dress before I colored it pink. Um, basically, you can paint over that with watercolor and then peel the masking fluid off and it will leave those spaces white. I've never done this under gouache before. Um, so this was my first time doing that, and this is definitely a big experiment for me. I definitely love using the masking fluid under the watercolors. I have done it many times. It doesn't always come out perfect, but you can always touch up with some white paint or a white gel pen, which is what I typically do. So going into this, I did have the thought process that this may not work. I am prepared to do that. I have never been especially good at not being a perfectionist, but in recent months I have been really forcing myself to just get it done even if you don't like it until the end, because that's just how it is sometimes. These darker colors I'm applying on top, that is my gouache paint. It is the Master's Touch gouache. I don't know if I just don't understand gouache yet or if I don't like this brand of gouache that's the only kind I've used before. I love how it looks when other people do it, but every time I do it, it just doesn't turn out. So, not my favorite, but I digress. Now onto the colored pencil. I do this because I love to see the texture of the pencil lines on top and because I feel like I can never truly get the amount of depth I want out of a watercolor piece until I put the colored pencils on top. Soon though, I will discover the problem of trying to do colored pencil on top of gouache. I skipped the skin with the gouache because I thought it was a good base by itself, but I painted pretty much everything else in gouache. So soon, you will see me learn a lesson that I will take with me for the rest of my career.
and pause. This is my favorite part. This is where I'm scratching off the masking fluid and it's not working as well as I like because of the gouache, but look how satisfying that was. The edges are not as clean as I like, but I have a basic shape for me to go fill back in with white paint to clean it up later. This part I find so satisfying as well. This is my favorite technique for drawing hair, especially in a less realistic way. I love being able to have a base color that I can just scribble on top of and it gets the job done. It looks just how I wanted it to. And I love that I can go slightly outside of the base to show those separate hairs that you see there. Yep, and here's me fixing up those lines from the masking fluid and it looks so much better fixing up those flowers on the dress, and we're done! Thank you for watching and please subscribe for more!